Live frogs are back at the American Museum of Natural History. Species from around the world are delighting visitors every day. We actually have uh, uh, 26 species of frog that are in the exhibit at the moment. We have a lot of interactives in there, so it means that, uh, for example, families with young children, there's a lot of hands-on things. For example, we have video cameras in there that you can control to get really close-up views of frogs. There are uh, interactive kiosks where you can play back different frog calls or see frogs uh, feeding. We wanted to bring uh, frogs to the museum as a showcase for uh, uh, the environment and the fact that uh, things like frogs are very sensitive to uh, environmental change. We have to uh, maintain the, uh, the frogs uh, uh, daily. So uh, it's a real labour of love and we have uh, uh, several staff members which uh, uh, are in there every day uh, feeding the frogs. We usually feed the frogs um, the pinhead crickets and two different sizes of fruit flies, uh, a larger one and a smaller one. They're actually bred to be flightless, but they do run pretty quick. Every morning we give the, uh, the habitat uh, a mist, a spritz down, to make sure all the plants are getting enough water and also just to help clean it down as well. We have 74 frogs in here uh, that we just make sure that there are flies sprinkled pretty much all over, moving around so everybody gets a chance to get some. And you can see immediately these, these ones have started to move, follow the flies. When we have more crickets, the crickets tend to be bigger, so they'll eat less crickets than they would flies. So it, it really varies. We really wanted to show a, a nice diversity of uh, frogs. So, for example, some species that will be uh, um, fairly familiar to people, things like the, the uh, uh, North American bullfrog. But we also then wanted to showcase really unusual and bizarre frogs, things that are uh, uh, species that people probably weren't familiar with. Um, the poison dart frogs are there to really show uh, from a tropical perspective. And uh, then we have other species that, for example, are entirely aquatic. Frogs, a chorus of colors, runs at the American Museum of Natural History through January 3rd.